What's going on, one? My name is Kyle here is aka Racer Night 99, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Cup Race Review, ladies and gentlemen. So it's time to review of the Forever 400 at Homestead Miami Speedway. The second race of the round of eight to see who is going to join Kyle Larson into the Championship 4 in Phoenix two weeks away. So the reason why it's the Forever 400 because this is Kevin Harvick's final season, by the way. Because Kevin Harvick... Uh, came in the top 10, by the way, with the Budweiser throwback paint scheme, the 2014 paint scheme that he ran the championship race back in 2014 season. Man, they bring back a lot of good memories. So, Kevin Harvick ended up in the round, uh, in the top 10, by the way, but good run for Kevin Harvick. So, anyway, so what's going on through the review of the Forever 400? So, I just, I just want to say a huge congratulations to the wheelman, Chris Rebell, as the fans to the championship round number four with the win. After what happened last race, came in second. Now this time, he got the win. Man, Christopher Bell, after what happened last race in Las Vegas, came in second when Kyle Larson took the checker flag to hold off Christopher Bell on the final level of the win in Las Vegas. But right now, Christopher Bell had a fast race car all day. Man, fast race car. He passed William Byron to like a couple laps ago, like around like 20 or 15 laps ago. And gotta say, Chris Rebell, he is good to go into the championship four with the win and Homestead Miami Speedway. I gotta say, uh, I just want to say congrats to Chris Rebell, by the way. Ryan Blaney did a good job, by the way, came in second. And Tyra Reddick came in third. And William Byron finished the top five. So, anyway, let's get on to the reviews, ladies and gentlemen. So, stage number one, Martin Truex Jr. starts on the pole. Um, and Kyle Larson had a fast race car all day. He dominated a lot of laps, but came in stage number one win after when Ricky Stenhouse Jr. brought out the caution on when after the end of the stage number one. So Kyle Larson took the win in stage number one. And then stage number two, by the way, such a clean race all day for stage number two. Ryan Blaney had a fast race car out of nowhere. And I thought William, uh, Kyle Larson's going to dominate the stages, but Ryan Blaney had the fast race car all day. It came in the, with the win in stage number two. So, and now what, in stage number three, when Ryan Blaney and Kyle Larson was trying to come down the pit road, then Kyle Larson hit the yellow barriers because he came in so fast. He was trying to come down the pit road. He was trying to, to uh, have a good uh, win off the pit road. And then all of a sudden, Kyle Larson hit the yellow barrier and out of the race. Uh, a little bit frustrated about that, but that's all right. Because Kyle Larson is already all set for the next round of the championship four with the win last race in Las Vegas. And then um, and then another caution come out. J.J. Yaley and John Hunter Nemechek uh, brought out the caution. And Ross Chastain. And then Denny Hamlin. Oh, man. Denny Hamlin hit the wall. He was battling for third or fourth, and then he's out of the race alongside with Martin Trex Jr. was out of the race because of the engine problems for the 19 of Martin Trex Jr. And then, let's get on to the, um, the final lap of the race. I gotta say, Chris Rebell, after a disappointing finish from last race, he would have won in Las Vegas. He came in second. But right now, that's his redemption because he won at Homestead Miami Speedway because... He's into the championship four. He's trying to fight for his first ever championship win. That's his second win of the season and his sixth career win for Chris Rebell. And I got to say, a good win for Chris Rebell, by the way. You know, back in last year in the playoff, he got the win in, in uh, Martinsville. But right now, he got the win in Homestead Miami Speedway this year, by the way. What a good win for the 20 team after he came in second last race. Almost won, but right now, this time... Chris Rebell got the win at Homestead Miami Speedway with the win. And now he's guaranteed to, uh, to make it to the championship four. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the next race, the final race. This is it. The big one. Who is going to go to the championship four? Would Ryan Blaney trying to get to the championship four? Would Martin Shrex Jr. get to the championship four? Or even William Byron and Denny Hamlin? 
We're about to find out what's gonna happen next race. We imagine we see the Ross Chastain did a video game move last year. That would be super cool, but we'll see how it goes. Well, actually, we'll see. We'll see how this uh, Martinsville uh, race going on next race. Because Larson won at Martinsville back in the spring race. Could Kyle Larson get the win again? Or either what's gonna happen, though? We're about to find out because next race is gonna be Martinsville Speedway. So that's gonna be uh, the final race of the round of eight to see who is going to the Phoenix race, the championship four. So, let me guys know in the comments below who you guys think who is going to win in Martinsville. And also, who's going to make it to the Championship 4. We're about to find out. So, we've seen the, um, the Xfinity Series yesterday that Sam Mayer got the way to advance to the Championship 4. And then the Truck Series, Carson Holsafar. And then the four truck drivers are into the Championship 4. So, that's going to be exciting for the, the final race. So, two weeks away. So, that's going to be a good one. So, anyway... So that is it, guys. That is the the Cup Race Review, the Forever 400. So I just want to say congrats to Chris Rappel with the win. Next race will be Martinsville Speedway, the final race of the round of eight. And also, who's going to make it to the Championship 4? We're about to find out. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, we need to join. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification, turn it on. If you guys are new in here, we need to join. We're on road to 2,000 subscribers. We'll have you all the bottom of my heart. And don't forget to keep it rich. We love you. Have an amazing day. See you guys next time. And have a fantastic, awesome day. Christopher Bell off of turn four. And the 28-year-old is going to lock himself into the championship four. He's won in Miami.